so we're cruising down the Antelope Valley Freeway at, shall we say, 85 miles per hour when this Honda Accord, doing about 55, suddenly swerves into our lane. No big deal, it happens all the time, so we tap the turn signal and prepare to move into the right lane. The Accord signal comes on, too, and the car faints to the right. Okay, cool, we cancel the turn signal and stay where we are. But so does the Accord, when we're just yards from running into it, and we have to swerve hard into the right lane to avoid rear-ending it. Then, as we peer indignantly over at the Accord, we see two young, shaven-headed bozos giving us the mad dog stare. Normally, we'd exercise prudence. After all, these could be gangbangers, and they could be packing. But we're in a BMW 740IL protection, see, so we display their IQ count, raising a single middle finger. Hey, what are they gonna do? Open fire? We have thick bullet-resistant glass with polycarbonate skins, to retain glass splinters in the event of damage from projectiles, and aramid armor in the doors and bulkheads. What's more, we have Michelin run-flat tires that can take around and still keep the car on the road. Also, heh heh, the car weighs 4,780 pounds, enough to punt those little bald bastards into the canyon without breaking a sweat. Okay, this isn't the kind of thing BMW encourages. You know, aggression based on superior armament. The protection car is really intended for those people captains of industry, political figures, and leaders of multinational Colombian agricultural cartels who may fall victim to kidnapping or assassination attempts. For them, the $33,000, plus tax, premium is worthwhile. For the driver probably a chauffeur cum security guy who's completed a course in terrorist evasion the payoff comes from driving a car that doesn't feel like a Brinks truck. Sure, the body armor and thick glass add weight and raise the 740 center of gravity, which sometimes makes it tip alarmingly when entering bends. But the thing steers nicely, and its road holding at 0.79 g on the skid pad is good enough to give you a fighting chance in a car chase. The weight gain of 466 pounds endured by the 740IL protection doesn't inhibit that lusty 4.4 liter V8 much, either, although you can feel it isn't quite as strong here as in the standard car. Still, the performance figures aren't hurt too badly, and the car's 0 to 60 sprint is just 0.5 seconds slower, at 7.7 seconds, while the quarter mile zips by in 16.0 seconds at 90 miles per hour instead of 15.6 seconds at 92 miles per hour breaking performance, at 190 feet from 70 miles per hour, measured 22 feet longer than that of our last 740IL, but our test surface had been recently reselled and was a bit greasy. It sounds nuts to restrict speed in a car designed for a role where outrunning the bad guys could save your life, but the 740IL protection bound for the US market wears H-rated versions of the run-flat Michelins. So it's governed to a quoted 128 miles per hour, ours actually ran 131 miles per hour. European models are allowed to reach 149 miles per hour. Why is that? Do you suppose US criminals drive slower cars? The thicker sidewalls and integral support rings in the run-flat tires hide symptoms of underinflation, so a pressure loss warning system is fitted as standard. Other standard equipment items include manual privacy shades on the rear side glass and a power rear window shade. A $1,700 optional console mounted in the rear center armrest is there to control the front passenger seat position, the climate control, the sound system, and the power shade. With loads of aramid armor and heavy glass added to the 7-series structure, you'd expect even greater body rigidity than usual. But that's not what you get. The extra weight carried by the car's superstructure produces occasional quivering and shuddering when the car hits rough surfaces. Vibrations course through the steering column, too, in a way they don't in a standard soft-skin 7-series. Clearly, Added heft in these areas compromises a vehicle's perceived rigidity, but fortunately not enough in normal driving to be a major hindrance. Besides, 
there's compensation offered by way of reduced noise. The thick glass and door panels attenuate noise even better than in a stock 740 IL, with sound levels at idle down to 40 decibels and with 70 miles per hour cruise readings as low as 61 decibels. So there's no need to shout on the car's standard equipment cell phone, and you can scream in frustration at the slow, second-rate navigation system without being heard outside.